Welcome to my new Adobe After Effects Motion Graphics um, tutorial series. This is the first tutorial of the series and I hope that you will like it. Um, I'm going to animate some circles using um, trim paths and Venetian blinds. I'm working with Adobe After Effects CC but this works in almost every version. So um, I'm going to try to keep this under 5 minutes and let's start. It's going to be a quick tutorial. To start, I'm creating a new composition. Um, this doesn't matter. I'm going to use duration to um, maybe 10 and background color black. Okay, I'm going to add a shape layer. This is going to be circle 1. You're going circle 2. You'll see why in a few seconds maybe a minute. Okay, I'm going to add an ellipse and a stroke. I'm going to change the, the size of the ellipse to um, 600. Okay, and I'm going to cha change the size of the stroke to um, the, the, the color of the stroke to, to light, um, light green the size of the stroke stroke width to 35 no to 27 and a half that looks good I'm going to add um, Venetian blinds okay I'm going to change the angle of uh, the, di the direction to 70 degrees I'm going to change the transition completion to 45 and um, the width to 45 again so this looks pretty good now I'm going to add um, trim paths here we go I'm going to uh, trim this layer down to 2 seconds now with this trim paths I'm going to keyframe the start and the end on the very beginning it's going to be 0 on the end it's going to be a hundred for both of them and then I'm just going to move the star keyframe back like that and I'm going to uh, click F9 to ease um, these layers and I'm going to move this a bit further back so that we have this and this hopefully looks as good to you as it looks to me and now we're almost done. I'm going to duplicate this layer. Okay. I'm going to change, just going to rename it to, to circle um, one. And I'm going to change the, um, the stroke color to, let's say, light blue. And I'm going to remove the Venetian blinds effect. And I'm going to sequence it for a couple of frames. In fact, that's too much. I'm going to adjust it like that. And I'm going to trim the composition like that. And let's see what we made. Hopefully, it looks good. This looks perfect for to me to be used in um, in some motion graphics video. Uh, hopefully you liked the tutorial. Please help me out and like, comment or subscribe. Thank you for watching and I hope that you like this tutorial series. More tutorials coming soon so stay tuned and subscribe.